Welcome to lesson one. Let me show you how to do it on the wooden dummy first. Then we'll show you how to do it without the wooden dummy. And then we'll show you how to use it in the application. So if we start on the wooden dummy, we showed you how to draw the guidelines on the floor. This is your starting position. Your feet are at the halfway points. So this is the middle point. This is the left halfway point. This is the left half, uh, full far point. This is the middle point, right halfway point, the far right point. So start with your feet at the middle points. Your feet are pointing slightly in, in on an angle. Bend your knees and your hands are up like this. Your hands are about 70% extended. Your elbow is low. Your index finger is about the same level as your nose. And your hand is in a spade position. Your right hand is right between your index finger and your nose, like this, at the same height. The first move is you bring up your arm. Just bring it up and it makes contact with the dummy arm. Okay, that's your first move. Second move is to slide in your right arm behind the neck as your left hand pulls down and you sink and then you pivot. So let me just show you the whole move, whole sequence right now. Okay, that's one time. So up, slide, pivot, grab, sink. Up, slide, pivot, sink. Welcome back. Let's do lesson one without the wooden dummy. So all you have to do is just have the box and just imagine there's a person in front of you or a dummy. So your feet will go once again onto the halfway points. This is the middle point, halfway point, and this is the far point. The middle point, halfway point, and then the far left. So put your toes where the middle points are, the left and the right middle point, and have your feet angled slightly inwards. Just to show you an example, this is your feet angling outwards. This is your feet angling straight forwards. This is your feet angling inwards slightly. Some people exaggerate it like this, but this is actually not very practical. Don't exaggerate the angle. They should just be slightly, about 10 degrees or so. This is your starting position, as explained in the first part. So to practice without a dummy, basically just lift, it, lift this up and then bring this up. Imagine you're grabbing somebody behind the neck or behind the head. And then imagine you're grabbing an arm here and you just pull down and sink. Okay, so don't yank it down like this, just pull down and sink just that much. Pull down and sink. So from here, lift up, this comes down and grab. So that's the left hand, up, down and grab. Up, down and grab. Right hand is slide up behind the neck and sink. Slide up behind the neck and sink, okay? So you combine them together, up, when it's, once it grabs, you pivot, grab, and sink. So you have two grabs and sink. How you combine the feet, so as this comes up, as your right hand comes up, you pivot. As your right hand comes up, you pivot. Double grab and sink. So that's lesson one, how to train the wind dummy without wind dummy.